What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another build guide. Today, I'm going to show you how to build the Bullfrog. This one's got plenty of cargo space and room for every station inside. But first, I'm going to show you where to get all the unique parts. Let's get started. All right, first thing you're going to do is go to New Homestead, which is located on Titan in Seoul. And once you get here, talk to the service tech and modify a ship. Any ship, doesn't matter. Start with an NG-6 landing bay. Then grab one of the Cabot cockpits. Grab an NG-2 docker. For now, I'm going to use a supernova engine, but we'll be swapping that at the next spot. Get a 500T tank. I'm also temporarily going to use NG-20 landing gear, the wide variant. Any grab drive for now. Get a 2x1. We're going to need two of those. And place them on top of your landing bay like this. Then put the cockpit at the front and your docker behind that. Then you can put your fuel tank behind the docker, engine at the back, gear behind the bay, grab drive on top. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab the SF-40 sheared coil reactor. We'll just place it on the side for now. And you should be able to leave the ship builder. Now we're going to take that to Hope Tech, which is located in the Velo system under Narion. Went at Polvo, Hope Town. All right, once you get here, go talk to the service tech again. Now that we're here, we're going to take that engine off and swap it out for one of our SAL 6830s. If you don't have the 6830, you need to complete all that money can buy, the Constellation mission. Make sure you do it without killing anyone, and you'll unlock these engines. If you don't have these, just use the other version for now. And we're going to get six of these in one location. So once you get the first one placed, duplicate. Accept, select all, edit, accept. So now you see there's two engines here. We're going to get six in there. So duplicate, accept, select all, edit, accept. That's three. Four. Five. And six. Go into your hab, and we're going to get two of the Hope Tech cross braces. Place them on either side for now. We need another landing gear, so I'm going to go into here and just get one of the Hope 6 ones for now. that for the other side seems we need a few more so I'm going to duplicate accept duplicate accept select all edit accept and I'm gonna get one more in there just in case because I don't want it telling me I have too few Delete the one that was high, and now we should be able to leave this ship builder. And take that back to our outpost landing pad with a ship builder.
once you get back to your outpost landing pad, interact with the console. Pull the reactor off to the side for now and one of the engines. You can leave the rest temporarily just to get them out of the way. Pull your fuel tank to the side. You can leave the grab drive and the docker. I'm going to replace these halves with Stroud ones. You can also get rid of all the landing gear. At the bottom, I'm going to start with a control station. Then follow that with the computer core. Then if you're on console, hover over the doorway up top, press both triggers, and then edit. So you have to press and hold both the triggers, then hit your edit button. Up here, I'm going to put an armory. Then do the same thing for this doorway. Hold both triggers, then press edit. I'll put my captain's quarters here. Get another two by one. And on this side, we'll do the workshop and the science lab. On the other side, I'll do an infirmary. And the living quarters. You can place your reactor at the back. Next, grab your grab drive. I'll be using this Nova Galactic one, NG340. You can use your fuel tank or anything else to line the grab drive up, same height with the reactor. Then take your fuel tank, place one under, another one under the reactor like that. Then you can move your grab drive forward until it's about halfway aligned with the reactor. Now you're going to do a bunch of duplications. So duplicate, accept, until it, and you see how it moves. We're going to do that until it lands inside the reactor. Duplicate, accept. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You see it took me nine this time, but it'll pop over there on its own and it'll be green. You can then hit accept and delete the extras. Now I'm going to duplicate the fuel tank. That'll get one on the bottom, then we can do it again to get one in the middle of it. Then duplicate again to get one above, and delete the extras. Then select all, edit, accept. Now we can move this fuel tank under, and duplicate it. Duplicate again, third time, then duplicate the one that popped up here to get one above it, delete this one, and the two on the bottom, sorry, three on the bottom, select all, edit, accept. Next, go into your gear. Get a Hope 5 landing gear, place that behind your bay like this. You can go into structural, grab a Deimos braking engine for the front of each side. Just 
well as some Nova Cowling. duplicate this for the other side and for the lower sections then grab some shroud cap be a Stroud Cap A. Change the variant to get the aft version. We'll place one here and one on the other side. Well, as another set below them. Then duplicate your top ones and change the variant again. Make sure you've got a valid placement in the area, then pick it back up, snap it to the location just over the Hope Tech passageways. Once it snaps, flip until it lands back the way you want it and hit cancel. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you've got the valid placement, then move it where you want it. Flip and cancel. Now we'll place our engines on those. Get one on each side. Then duplicate, accept, select all, edit, accept. Now there's two over here, one over here. We'll get another one on this side, same way. Then a third one here and here. Go into cargo and get two 10ST shielded cargo holds placed at the rear. Then we can duplicate this for the top. Get one of the Demo Slim dockers to go down bottom, 100 DP. Place that right in front of your landing bay. Get another Nova Cowling. We'll hold that there for now. Go into structural and get some equipment plates. We'll need seven this time. Then go into weapons and scroll to the bottom for our PBO auto alpha beam. Place that on one of them. Then we'll need the alpha beam as well. And three turrets. Now place another alpha beam on one and another auto alpha beam on the other. Then hover over your auto alpha beam, press duplicate, accept. Do that for each one, as well as the regular alpha beams. Now we'll place those under the Nova Cowlings. Make sure you hover over one, hit select all, and then pick it up. Place the first one here. And we'll do the same thing with our other alpha beam on the other side.
Then I'll place my auto alpha beams behind those. And I'm going to change my turret so they all face forward. Then place them up top in the middle. I'm also going to need a shield. Go ahead and grab the Assurance SG-3000. We'll place that under the Stroud cap here. Once it snaps, flip and cancel. Same thing for the rest of these, starting with the rear cowling. Place those down first. Once you get here, you can get this Nova cowling and place it under inside the landing gear. Just like that. Flip and cancel. Now go into cargo. Grab a Galleon S204. Pull this Nova cowling back out the way for a moment. Place that on top, then duplicate, accept, duplicate, accept. A couple more times, duplicate, accept. Once you get one to land down bottom like that, duplicate it again to get two in there. Then delete all the extras up top. Select all. Edit, accept. Now we're going to shove a few more in there until we reach essentially the maximum cargo space without damaging our mobility too much. So highlight one of the cargo holds, duplicate it, accept, duplicate, accept. Select all, edit, accept. And I'm just going to do that until my mobility goes down. All right, now we're at 91. So I'm going to delete this one. And replace my Nova Cowling. Now we need to assign our weapons. I would do the auto alpha beam as your primary. Alpha as the secondary and turret as the final one. All right, at this point, we should only have one error, and that should be too few landing gear. If you want to use the same ones as me, you're going to need somewhere around 20 landing gear shoved in this one spot. If you don't want to sit here and shove 20 in here, you can use the Stroud ones, and then you'll only need like 11 or 12. We'll be using the same merging technique we've been using before, so pull this Nova Cowling out the way. Duplicate, accept, select all, edit, Accept, and just do that until you get back down to one error. Make sure your Nova Cowling doesn't get in the way.
All right, once you get back down to one error, you can replace your Nova Cowling. Now everything should be nominal and you should be able to leave the ship builder. Notice how it's not touching the plane. Anytime you have that happen, make sure that you view another ship and then go back to the ship that you were working on before leaving the menu. This will help prevent it from appearing under the map and other strange disappearing acts like that. But now that's my home ship. Let's go check out the inside. be brought into either a computer core control station or whatever have you choose to put here if you walk forward we've got another two by one yes. you have a ladder all right let's deal with the ladder just a quick and easy fix should not be an issue That ladder was in this location, I believe, but just to be safe, we'll go ahead and make it impossible for a ladder to spawn on any of these. Once you get those portholes placed, grab your two by ones, have them snap to place, change the variant, then change it back to what you want it to be and hit cancel. Then I'm going to select and accept. Same thing with this one. Snap to place, change variant, and hit cancel. Then edit accept. Now we're going to leave the ship builder again. Make sure it hasn't appeared above or below the plane again. Now we shouldn't have to worry about any ladders inside. Once again, control station or computer core. No ladder this time besides the one for the docker. There's we've got our cockpit with the armory leading into our captain's quarters. If we hop back down to the first floor, we can go over to the wings. See on this side, we've got the infirmary and living quarters or all-in-one this is the all-in-one berth actually on this side we've got our workshop and science lab Captain's locker and cargo hold right there. make sure your engines and shields are fully powered then you can evenly distribute the rest among your weapon and I do believe that covers assembly on this one as always I hope this video helped you out and if it did please remember to hit those like and sub buttons down below and I hope to see y'all here in another one later